What is up, all my fellow potatoes? I am in your potato, and welcome back to Potatoes on Friday on a Monday. Now, the reason it's on a Monday is because I've been camping. I've been out, like, all the way down there, like, just like, yeah, whatever. Freezing cold, to be honest with you. Uh, I was there for four days, so I haven't been able to upload, and I'm really sad. So, today I'm going to make up for it, and I'm going to try and upload try and upload two videos today, or maybe even three, if you're lucky. Yeah, so today's Queen's holiday birthday in Australia. So, yeah. Anyway, today I'm going to show you two simple ways to download mods. And they are so simple. They work for both Mac and Windows. So I'll teach you how to do that. I only have a PC. So, I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac. Just be like, oh, you click here even though I don't have anything up here. I'll just pretend because it will still work for you Mac lovers out there. When I have a PC and you guys, if you have a PC, you can just follow along with this. Now, my computer's about to die. Um, so we've got to hurry, okay? And if you come up with, if it comes up with a message saying, oh, 14%, just ignore, please. Um, so, first of all, you got to get your mod. So, um, we're going to do the first way to do it, and it's really easy. Basically, I'm using the Lord of the Rings mod for this example. Basically, just type in mod on Google, and then click on the first link that comes up, and then you got to search for the download link, which is right here. Um, it says downloads, download the current version, and you need to note what version of Minecraft it is. For me, it says 1.7.10. So I've got to remember 1.7.10. So when you click on the download link, it'll come up with an ad.ly or an ad fly. And basically, um, you just wait for this thing in the corner. Don't click anything else. Just click this skip ad in the corner once that's finished. So it'll usually redirect you to a Mediafire website. Otherwise, it'll just download it straight away. It'll take you to another website. Basically, just click the box that says download and right next to the thing, or if it's already downloaded, it'll come up with a yellow box down the bottom. For Mediafire, it always opens up an ad when you click the download button, which I'll show you when it does that. There you go. So you just gonna quit that ad straight away, and it'll come up with a yellow box down here, just like this. Uh, just like I said. So you're gonna click save. And it's gonna take a while to download, especially because this mod's really big. So I'm gonna just leave that be. I'm gonna get the other part of the mod, which is Microforge. And um, this is where the version that you remembered comes in handy. Um, so I have 1.7.10, right? So I'm going to click down here and go on 1.7.10. If you say you're doing 1.8, you click down here and go on to 1.8. Um, or if it might have 1.9 now if you're in the future. Hello, future people of Earth. Um, but yeah, I've, I'm just going to go with 1.7.10 because that's what update I'm on. Oh, that's what update my mod is on. As you can see down here, it's 1.7.10. So then you're just going to click the download recommended. Never do download latest. As you can see, it's only a half star. Always go for the full star one. Um, now, for Mac, you want to click installer. For Windows, you want to click installer win. Just remember that. Um, actually, for Mac, it's either installer or javadoc. I'm pretty sure it's installer. If installer doesn't work, use javadoc. But, yeah. Um... I think they're all pretty much the same except for source and change log. So um, it'll come with another thing like AdFly, except it's called adfolk.us or adfocus. Um, and it, same thing, just click skip in the corner. And it said it'll come up with a yellow box. It won't go to the media file. It'll come up with a yellow box straight away. Click run this time. And it'll, uh, right now I have two downloads in progress. So I'll be back when those have both finished downloading. Okay, so basically, when um, Minecraft Forge has finished installing, it'll come with a box that says "Use Account Control." You might not be able to see it on my computer right now because it's not—it doesn't record full screen. But you just gotta click the yes button if you come up with a message that says yes or no. Click yes, because um, it's safe and it's just saying how to do stuff. So come with the box here, which says "Mod System Installer." Basically, just don't click anything. Make sure it's still on install client. And just click OK, it'll install it to your .micro folder, which I'll, we'll get into later. And I'll say, successfully installed client. Now for Mac, if you don't get that, download the Java doc version. If you do get that, then download the install, then continue, just use the installer version. Um, the mod is still downloading, so I'll be back when that's finished downloading. Also, I forgot to mention, if um, your mod for some reason is just like, 
Uh, so if your download for some reason doesn't work on Mediafire, um, just, you can just click repair your download. Um, it's usually because lots of people are downloading at the same time. It's just like, whoa, too many people, bro. No, wait, you, no, you, oh, whatever. Let me, let me just go. Um, so yeah, still gotta wait for this to download. It's gonna take a while because it's a big mod. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight. 99, 100, yay, finally it's downloaded. So what you're going to do now is just click open folder. And it'll open your downloads folder, basically just drag this to your desktop. And for a Mac, things download differently, you won't get a yellow box, I forgot to mention that. Just download it and put it onto your desktop, just like you normally would. And it's not on my desktop, it's being retarded again, this happened the other day. It's here. Right here, but it's not here. So yeah, um, my computer's just been playing up for a little bit lately. Um, so what we're gonna do now is a bit more ex advanced stuff that you don't need to worry about. Um, so basically, you're gonna click on your start menu. This is full Windows, by the way. I'm gonna click on the start menu and type out run. I'll explain Mac later, and then click enter, and you'll get this box down here. And then in here, you're just gonna type percent a p p d a t a percent or percent app data data whatever you want to call it and then another percent so up da app 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 data in between or app data in between two percent signs okay okay it's gonna open up your roamings folder and in somewhere in here it might not be at the top you'll find a dot micro folder just double click on that and then in here um you will you have a mods folder. You might not. Um, but just to check if before we do that, let's just check if Forge is downloaded. So double click on versions. You should have a thing called Forge like this right there. Um, so next you want to create a mods folder. Call it mods, no capitals or anything. Or you might already have one. And just double click on that. And right now mine's empty. So I'm going to drag our mod. You're going to drag your mod into there. And then just quit that and once your mod's in there, you're all good to go. So, let me just run Minecraft just to prove it to you. Um, you're not actually fully done. I forgot to mention. I forgot. To, I also forgot to show you how to do it for Mac, so I'll quickly do that. So on Mac, um, to get that folder, that's uh, to get your .dot micro folder. It's all the same from there. But to get to your .dot micro folder, click on your desktop, and up here, you should have a thing called Go. Click on Go. And then hold Option, and then click. And another thing would pop up that says Library. Click Library, and then um, it'll open you up your library. Click Double click on Application for Application Support, and then go into your Minecraft folder. It won't be called .minecraft; it'll just be called Minecraft. And there you'll have your mods folder and your versions and stuff, and you're all good to go from there. So now this is a bit different. You're going to create a new profile. Um, this is where a lot of people stuff up. They're like, how do I get my one? So click new profile. We're going to call it um, YouTube mods. Because this is our mods. These are our mods. You're going to click save. Now, I stuffed that up. Sorry. Let's try that again. So this time we'll just call it moddies. Because I already have a folder called mods. And yeah. Where it says use version, click on the arrow, and you're gonna scroll down until you find 1.7.10 Forge or whatever you have, and then you're just gonna click save profile, and then you're gonna click on it. It was called Modis, and as you can see here, it says 1.7 ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10 Forge, blah blah blah. Just click play, and you're done. So I'm gonna to prove to you that that worked. I'm going to show you the second way, which is even simpler. I mean, what could be simpler than that? If you struggle on that, yeah, I, I did at the start. It was like, what? Minecraft Forge? Uh, um, what's Minecraft? Yeah, if you like that, then you should probably get the game Minecraft. <laughs> um, but if you actually like that and you don't know how to install... It does, still doesn't make sense to you. Next version will be 
even simpler. In fact, so quick, so simple. It only takes like one minute. So, it's just four o'clock now. Mm. I was hoping to upload a few videos today, but I guess I'll only be able to do one. Maybe two, if you guys are lucky. Look, just spat my screen. Um, this is going to take a while. I know it did, because last time I tried to do this, and I failed, because my microphone wasn't on. It was, like, upwards, and I'm just like, oh, crap, I'm an idiot. Um, but this took forever, because my computer's been playing up. Look at my mouse. It's just like, flash, flash, flash. Oh, it stopped. Oh, there it goes. Flash, flash. Like, why? Stop flashing. You're weird. I don't know why you're flashing. Maybe it's because I have the cords on the ground. Nope, still flashing. I don't know why. And here we go. So... It'll have a little folder called Mozzie now. Look on that. And oh my god, that is loud. <laughs> ah. Ah. There we go. Lord of the Rings mod. Uh, you can disable it. You can go under the config. Oh, config. What? <laughs> um, yeah. Don't do that. Um, so that's done. Coolio. Let's move on to the second way, which is so much easier. Now, for the second way. By the way, all links will be in the description. Um, this is called Skydash. Basically, it has every mod and it downloads it for you. So, let's get a mod. Which mod should we get today? Let's get. Oh my god, there's, there's like every mod in this. So, colorful Portals, Deco Craft 2 mod, Zin's HUD mod, Extended Villages mod, Factorization mod, Industrial Craft 2 mod. Jurassic Craft mod. That sounds pretty cool. YouTubers Plus mod. Oh, by the way, I'm totally in that. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Wish. Uh, Frozen Craft mod. Vanilla en Enhancer mod. Oh, I don't know what that means. Toggle box. Witchery mod. Galactic Craft. I remember that. That was great mod. So good. Yet so many stuff I didn't even get any of it. Um, what should we get? Why don't we just get? Let's get the colorful portals mod. <laughs> Why not? I don't know what that is. Oh, I mean, I it's I, I can tell what it is by what it sounds like, but I've never never used it. Now it's also four point seven point ten. Um, colorful portals. All right, so we got to make it three clay. Two clay. Let's remember that for when we actually make it. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna make that, but whatever. So basically, just click on the mod, scroll down to where it says downloads, and then click download here dot exe, and that's this is the only download. It won't up. It might upload ad. Um, ha, it might open AdFly. If it doesn't, it'll just open the box down here. Click save instead of run. Don't click run. Look how quick this is. Already 18%. Uh, 21, 24. It's gone pretty quick. Basically, this sometimes doesn't work for some people. Sometimes does. Um, I'm not sure if this works for Mac. I've never tried it out on Mac. I'm guessing it would because why not? It might not. You might have to only do the first one because it might only be. It doesn't say anything about Mac, does it? Um, no, I don't know. Now let's look at some of the comments. Epic. And popular MMOs also did a showcase on it. A LMAO. Do team crafted for 1.7.10 or superheroes unlimited. Un, un, unlimit. Unlimit? For 1.7.10. Or a mod pack for 1.7.10. Just stop saying stuff, honestly. You've said so much. Poo. Poo. <laughs> um, anyway. So let's just click now. Um, once you've done this, click open folder once it's downloaded, and you'll got, get like this little box thing. Just double click on that. If, if it comes up with this message and it says, oh, you know, we're not gonna, not, we're not gonna, not responding, just click run as, as administrator, and then a box will come up and click yes. Um, so for this, um, basically, what should we do? We'll just leave it like that. Um, so it'll come up with the box. Uh, first of all, it's got all this stuff like restore, options, profile. First of all, we've just got to clear our mods. I mean, you can just do that with a click of a button. Um, and then we can install 
mod, just go into the install part, click this green box which says install mod. Uh, you can back up Minecraft, but it takes a while, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Come up with a thing down up here, usually, which has like a green bar, just like, oh yeah, I'm going to load. I'm going to load, because I can. Like, yeah, I'm going to load. Still loading. And then it'll continue on loading. And then you'll get a message saying, mod installer complete. Colorful portals mod installed. Or something like that. And then you can uninstall the mod or reinstall it. So... Just to prove that it worked. Um, for this, it's a bit different. You don't have to create a profile. It's already selected one, as you can see here. It says install to version forge in brackets default. Um, so then you're just going to go here and click on forge. For me, it's still going to be on moddies. You'll see here forge, as you can see. Um, click on that forge thing and it'll say ready to play that. Um, Modis will also work because I've already did the first version, but Forge will work even better. So, so ready to play Minecraft on Windows 10? If it says that, then boom, you're done. Just leave it. Just get it to download, do its stuff. It's gonna install this mod. I don't know how this mod works. Never seen it before. Don't know what it does. I don't know. Really don't know. Um, is it like more, more um? No, I guess not. I thought it would be like more dimensions and stuff. Uh, this mod lets you build portals that lead from anywhere to anywhere, even between dimensions. It's a good altern alternative to command blocks, and if you have a lot of dimensions added by mods like the Aether, Twilight, Forest, etc., you can travel between them easier. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty cool. Nice. Oh. What the hell is this? <laughs> um, it's a new update. It does this sometimes for mods. Bash. Bash. Basically, if you get this, then you know it's worked. Um, so, if you click on mods, colorful portals, boom, done. So, yeah. That is it, actually, believe it or not. That is all we got to do. You've installed mods, and I've shown you two is how to do it. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll be leaving links to this. I'll be leaving links in the description to the downloads, so you don't have to go ahead and type it up yourself, because you're, because I'm so good. I'm such a good person. Um. Do you like my desktop, by the way? It's Easter Island. I really want to go there. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.